Welcome to Game Dev Made Easy. I am your host, Jessco. I will be leading you on this incredible journey from being a zero to a well-rounded game developer. Today, we will be doing a quick look into how to set up a texture to work with the terrain system in CryEngine. So, let's sit back, relax, and... Oh, fuck that. So to get started, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this folder textures. And I'm going to import. Let's see, I have a giant folder of different textures. So let's go with something that's interesting enough. Uh, so many textures. I'm going to go with this rocks arid seamless. I'm just going to import it. There we go. Now, what we want to do now, before we create the material, we want to double click on this, which will pull up uh, the CryEngine uh, texture software. I forget what it's called, CryTiff or something like that. But we have a list of presets. Right now it's set to albedo. This is not what we want for terrains. What we want to do here is click on it and click on terrain albedo high pass. That'll generate pretty much the same exact look. Now if we were to click on say terrain albedo, we can see it's a little more grayscaled out. So high pass gives the filters we want. Click on generate output, click OK. Now we can create a new material. I'll call it rock. And I'll double click on that, pull it up in the terrain editor. In diffuse, I'll click on textures, select that. Now we can see it, oh, there we go. We can see it show up here. We can spin it, look at it with different lighting. But this is not the setting we want. Right now it's set on the illumination set shader. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on that and change it to terrain layer. And then obviously you can see we no longer can see it in either the little thumbnail nor in the preview window. That's perfectly fine. Click on save. And now in the material section in the paint of the terrain editor, we find that material, rock. Click on paint, and I'm just gonna change the brush size. Oh, I changed the default. But there we go, you can see it already show up and because I set it in a default layer, it automatically painted everything. So just to showcase the steps one more time, I'm going to import again. This time, let's go with dead grass and we'll go through the same steps dead grass change this to be terrain high past wherever it is there it is terrain albedo high pass image size is not power of 2000 all right let's not use that one Import just because I don't feel like going through and fixing that. Uh, let's go with the bricks old. Still set the reference image. Not a power of two. Uh, this is why I don't use these anymore. Um, I know there's one. Grass seamless. There we go. We'll just go with the standard grass. There we go. Now, terrain albedo high past. Generate output. Okay. Right click, create new layer. You can see the texture is the white dot DDS, which is exactly what we want. We don't want to paint a color. We just want to paint the texture. 
Now with the material, click on it. It would help if we created a material for that. Material grass. Grassy ass. Textures. Seamless. Again. Left click to actually left click to actually rotate it around. Right click if you want to zoom in or zoom out. Change this to be terrain layer. File save. Exit. Good to go. Textures grass. Now select paint. And I'm going to change that range. Bam. Now we can just zoom in to take a look. There we go. And if you get annoyed with uh, the camera going through the terrain, click on display. Camera terrain collisions. Select that or you can press the Q key. Now we can zoom in and it won't go through the terrain. Instead, it'll collide with it and drag it across. So we can also see a little bit of blending going on. And there you have it. That is how you set up materials to work with the terrain system and CryEngine.